Now, the next end-of-life technology that's currently out there involves freeze-drying. The aim is to reduce the body to a compact, sterile powder. I'm going to use a lamb chop to see how this might work. The idea of freeze-drying is that it's a relatively quick and efficient method for removing all the moisture from an item. And given that a body is around about 75% water, drying it like this will reduce its mass considerably. I've poured liquid nitrogen into here, and that's because I want to do some extreme freezing. A normal freezer will maybe get something down to about minus 18 degrees, whereas using liquid nitrogen, you can freeze stuff to sort of minus 200 degrees. Now, the reason for wanting to get something this cold is to change its mechanical properties. I'll show you what I mean. It goes very, very brittle. Quite a radical change, behaving more like a glass and less like a plant. Now, you can see there that it's broken up into many, many small pieces. This is a huge advantage when trying to dry something because you're hugely increasing the surface area, which means it'll dry much more quickly and efficiently. OK, that seems to be suitably frozen now. The idea is to shatter the frozen flesh down to much smaller particles, and the intention is to use some sort of vibration to do that. Now I'm going to pop a little bit more liquid nitrogen in to keep the whole thing cold and brittle throughout the whole process. This might look like a harsh thing to do, but even with cremation, things still need to be broken down a fair bit. Well, I've got what I was after. The, uh, the frozen lamb chop has been broken right down by the vibration into, into essentially in parts of powder and other smaller bits. The next step is really the freeze-drying process. I've got to take this while it's cold and frozen and pop it into a vacuum. The reason for that is because I want that frozen solid water to turn into gaseous water vapour without ever becoming a liquid. So this never turns into some sort of wet sludge. And so I need to move fairly quickly and get that into my uh, freeze-drying unit. Making ice evaporate is called sublimation. The same thing happens to this dry ice I'm using to keep my equipment cool. We should now have the conditions here set up for freeze-drying. Now, what happens is the, the ice, the, the frozen water within the kind of broken pork chop, in vacuum conditions, which we have here, should actually be turning straight into a vapour, should freeze directly back onto that cold plate. There should be no liquid phase happening in there at all. I left the vacuum overnight, and now we're left with this freeze-dried lamb chop. Well, there's uh, quite a significant change there. This is vastly reduced in size and, crucially, mass. The question is whether freeze-drying really can challenge cremation as an affordable, space-saving alternative. <laughs>